Hi, my name is Nunu Sa. I'm a uh, full-time underwater cameraman and photographer. I'm really delighted to have known that I am the Marine Conservation Photographer of the Year of uh, 2024. And um, especially because it's, it's just, uh, I mean, I, I, nowadays I spend most of my time traveling around the world and I more and more I'm aware of how us humans are having an impact uh, in our oceans any, anywhere on our planet. Um, and, and I've been privileged to be able to dive from not the North Pole to the South Pole. But this story happened just at my doorsteps. Um, it, it, this, this whale was stranded in one of the closest beaches to the city of Lisbon. And it was in a warm April day when people were, were just coming out from very bad weather and everyone was at the beach and suddenly this massive uh, sperm whale started to, to show up in the middle of the surfers and it just headed to the beach and you could tell that it was uh, uh, wounded. Uh, she, would, she had a very t hard time staying at the surface and uh, breathing very slowly and shaking your fluke and eventually she, she winded up stranded at the beach. And I mean, this is a, a situation that, that tells a lot about how we are impacting the oceans. I mean, uh, over 20,000 whales uh, die of collision with ships every year. Um, but uh, if you think about the uh, several species of whales are known to last uh, from one to 200 years. And in their lifespan, they've gone from a notion of, of, of safety and silence to a chaos of noise and ocean pollution and plastic pollution and collision with ships and so on. Uh, so it's, it's a very, very maybe negative and hard story. But on the other hand, uh, it was very amazing to see that suddenly one person just headed for the whale and jumped into the water and just started to try to push it out. And suddenly there was like maybe 20 people just heading to the water and, and chanting together and trying to push it out and trying to save it. And towards the end of the, a few hours, maybe an hour later, there was probably over 100 people in the water. And um, it was very amazing to see us as human beings just trying to make an effort to save this, this, this amazing animal. So it's kind of a, um, brings me mixed feelings, this image, because it's a very powerful image of, of how we're impacting um, whales, different species of whales in our oceans. But on the other hand, I mean, it is a positive message of how when we work together, we can, we can change things and we can make a difference. Uh, unfortunately, although there was a big effort to try to save this whale, she didn't survive as the, the t tide got lower. She, she eventually uh, couldn't breathe and, and suffocated on the beach. And it was a pretty sad event for everyone that was trying to, to, to save it. But I think in the end, I mean, everyone that, that was involved in this, 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 this operation is going to be an advocate to, to doing something about uh, saving, saving the populations of whales worldwide and just uh, knowing more about this problem. I mean, how many people know that, that uh, over 20,000 whales are, are killed every year with, in high sea collisions with ships? In the end, I think it was a beautiful story with a, with a, with a sad ending.